Okay, we're in the home stretch. The one one thing I wanted to show you was she did say to highlight these little hearts in the background with warm white. So I am just going to do that. I'm using light buttermilk and I'm just going to put a touch really try and make it soft but it's really hard for me but I'm going to touch the left side of the hearts with a little light buttermilk that's it All right now if you look at your patterns you will see that there are little snowflakes there's one on the star kind of right here there is there are none on the heart and there's one two three four five on this birdhouse so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna do uh, all the white dip dots with this and I'm gonna use this titanium white that I've used the deco art needle tool but if you have a stylus you can make dip dots with that um, also really really tiny little dots of uh, light buttermilk with um, your brush for the I forgot this part for the eyes so everybody's eyes are going to get a tiny little dip dot right I like to put it at the left high up on the left and they can have one on their cheeks too okay so again really tiny one on the eye just up at the left that's where I put it oops I don't like that one and this one that's not even touching the black don't forget your birdie and the snowman he looks like a devil I made his eyes too big I'm gonna put them like down in the left side it just softens them up kind of makes them have a glint of life in their eye, right? OMG. The more I do it, the more... It's good enough. Stop. I have to stop. Um, so, like I said, there are little stars. I'm going to use the light buttermilk for the act to make the actual stars, and then all the dots are going to be with the... Um, white this is actually called titanium white snow white so I'm gonna get this light buttermilk really inky and look at your um, pattern and you can see there's quite a few on here so I'm gonna put one here and they're just X's with an X through the X that's how I do it um, there's one over here X X X uh, one up here your paint needs to be wet so it moves turn the piece if you need to um, there's one over here and one over here and on the star there's one right here here it's kind of big and there isn't one on the little heart girl but I think I want to just put a line here and kind of just put dip little dots on my hearts now look you can do what you want all right and then we got to put our halos and then we're gonna make our dip dots all over the place and we're going to put a little bit of white that looks like snow. I'm going to read the final um, directions too. Let's see. So we got that. The heart ornament. Uh, the birdhouse ornament. The bird. 
the roof dry brush with warm white on the roof so I actually didn't even do that because so at the end I'm gonna paint all the backs like I did on these I, I um, sanded them and painted them and then varnished them but uh, she has you like dry brushing so like basically with the big brush here and maybe some of this you could just dry brush it on the roof but I'm just going to paint the whole roof so we're not we're going to skip that part um, but so we got our okay so now we're going to do all these little dip dots this is a cool little tool this is what it is it's the deco art ultra fine writer tip can you see that I got this at Hobby Lobby it was five bucks and I thought I'd try it. I also bought this too, the fine liner um, masking fluid. And I haven't used this yet, but I wanted to use it. There was a class um, at Lifebook that ha she had used the masking fluid, and I was like, oh, I need that. 15 bucks, but I used my coupon, my 40% off coupon. But this is just basically you squirt the paint through and you make a little dip dot. So I'm going to show you. You can control the size. So I'm going to take my little heart and go side by side so you can see what I'm doing. And, oh, for, wait, first, sorry. Whoa, pump the brakes. Glorious gold. I don't really have any room on my palette here. This is a metallic gold. Dazzling Metallics Glorious Gold, and it is by Deco Art. But there are other metallic paints out there. I'm going to still a little bit of water on my brush and really load my brush up with this. And you're going to make, and if you look at your pattern again, she kind of does it like a, a swirly like this, which I really liked about it. And it might not show up uh, with the paint, so I'm just going to grab a Sharpie, a big fat Sharpie. And it's just kind of like this. That's how she's kind of making her halos. Or you could go this way. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's just really free and easy and cute. So I did that on all mine. You can kind of see. No two are the same. This one's thicker. And then this one, kind of smaller, but it's up there. So you're just going to take that metallic gold and just make a little like halo on your little girls and you can put it to the side if you want am I in the shot so sometimes you'll have a easier time going one way than the other so that was a little stubbier and then this one I'm gonna go this way and kind of like that. And what's cool is they they show up on the angle, so it's like a subtle little. I love it. I love 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 it. Okay. So the last thing we're gonna do is stickles, but oops. Um, what I would do with the stickles is. You know what, we're going to do stickles now on the wings because the dip dots, yes, we're going to do stickles first. What should I do? Now, I can't remember what order I did it in when I did it on these. I think I did the dip dots first and then we stickles over top. Yep. All right. So get me my white paint and along her little cuffs, she has little dots. So I'm going to go, I'm barely squeezing. We'll get it going first, okay, and put little dots, and you really have a, a good amount of control with this little applicator. I really like it, and I think what I would do is have one in what? One for white and one for black, and when you're doing mixed media, wow, you can just make, you could print words and go crazy. <clears throat> So she had it along her sleeves, at her collar. Oh, 
love it and then it at the center of the snowflake and then on the ends and then kind of in the middle that's how I did mine anywhere you want really so cute isn't that the cutest thing ever and then she has you like you can make I'm gonna paint the top with the white so I'm gonna squirt some out on my palette and I'm just gonna use a brush and paint along this top edge oops I kinda got it on there too be careful because you don't want it coming down the edge until you do it with the thingy so I'll show you so I'm just gonna take this off didn't want to take my halo off I'm gonna put my halo back on I'm not going to try and sing like Beyonce, even though I wanted to. And then you can take this and kind of make it look like drippy snow. If you want to. See, there's also another product called Snow Tech that I've used before, and it's very dimensional. And I don't know how um, Deb did this. That's why taking a class is so great went from the creator of the project because you can actually see what they were thinking so that is basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let that dry and move on to my next one let's do this little birdhouse I have there's little dots along her cuff but this thing is amazing very consistent because usually I do dip dots so I would take the stylus and dip it into the paint and then one at a time you can make a dip dot and it's it does the same thing guys you do not need to have this but it's fun it's fun to have and like I said in I can see it in mixed media having this tool you could write words and all types of stuff so now we're gonna go for every snowflake one in the middle all four sides and then a little one in in, the, in between so mainly I try to make the four big ones in the middle one and then kinda and we're gonna put stickles on here and shine it up a little bit but that bright white is so eye-catching up oh, there's one more up here because we used a uh, light buttermilk for the for the white so that the dots just pop and again I'm going to use the brush and just brush the roof with white this time so I'm going to basically paint it roughly and then we'll hang some over the edge because these are Christmas ornaments but we're gonna put stickles up there too so we'll see now I kinda I did a sloppy oops I'm gonna hold it by the edges here but I did a sloppy job of it along just to kinda make it look like snow you see and then I used so on this one I kind of just I used this though and I just went around and smudged it around and then I went along the bottom ledge there and just let it dry and see how it came over a little bit oops it came over the lip in some places so it just you know kind of makes it look more snowy that way so you can kind of make a swirl of it a little I didn't want to put too much because it just takes too long to dry and you know I am impatient but you can kind of have thicker pieces coming down and I just you know it just takes longer to dry but it might if you guys have snow tech in your stash this would really look cute with snow tech um, snow tech is like a crystal it's like a 
a gel or no it's not a gel it's a paste ish looking thing so that looks cool right snowy and then we're going to add stipples to it at the end and one more the little heart I'm going to do the same thing the cuffs I'm just wiping the tip of this here's the heart and there's little tiny dots all around the heart too this little heart that she's holding so I'm trying to go small so I'm barely putting any pressure on this uh, tube I'm trying to really keep it small the dots I mean and it is pretty easy to do they come out really consistent this is really cool and fast we'll make them a little bigger at her collar maybe how stinking cute all right so oh I gotta just do the the snow at the top and then I'll show you now she uses and I'll go back to the directions because I forget already which I'm just gonna try and put this actually if I pull it like that because I'm gonna I'll paint the back again I'll give the back a final uh, coating and I'm gonna if you just kind of pull forward whatever falls might look like snow say oh that's a good so if you put a clump of it on your brush kind of pull it I like that That looks snowy enough for me maybe I don't really need the liner but cute 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 all right then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to my directions for a sec put all these girls together <clears throat> and finally it says finishing outline as desired with lamp black brush over the wings with deco art medium matte medium which I don't have and sprinkle with glamour dust which I'm guessing is just glitter so and then it says add snow use the deco art ultra fine writer on your snow titanium white to add the snow use the tip to pull some of the paint to look like icicles sprinkler sprinkler sprinkle with glamour dust while wet so basically it's what stickles does so that's why i'm using stickles and stickles and for those of you who don't know is by ranger and it is a glitter glue basically but it's a really good quality one and um it flows out of this tip so what i like to do is i'll just squirt a little bit on my craft mat here and you know what let's should i change brushes for a change i'm going to use this number four round and just pick up the glitter it's like a glitter glue and it dries clear and I'm gonna gently cover this wing with it go right over the hair take it right up to the edge and you have a very blingy wing I love it try not to put your finger in your dip dots which is classic for me been there done that a million times that's why I really I love I like to do dip dots last 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 so really even before we put the stickles on I should varnish so I think I'm gonna varnish wait for all this to dry and then I'll varnish and then I'll come back but you know what? I can just varnish around the stickles but look how cute it is I hope you guys enjoyed this this was so fun and if I'm honest it was way more fun than the 
um, than this the Halloween one. I just love angels. They just make me so happy. I put a little stickles on my hearts. Oh, screw it. I have to do it. I have to add. Oh, I think I just pushed it right into the stickles, which is fine because we are going to add some stickles to the top too um, when it's dry. But just go right on top of the wings. And the reason I paint it on, like I use a paintbrush, is because you don't need it to be so thick. It, it, this has such, like, per, you know, I don't know what you would say, but there's a lot of glitter in here. So that absolutely you get coverage. Every square piece of this is covered with glitter. I mean, if you can't tell, it is so cool. I love it. I love it so much. I love stickles. They just make me happy. And they last so long too, like that bottle. Although I do go out of their the clear a lot. The there's this is called Stardust. They have a million names for them. But I like the finer the glitter, the better. Um some of the glitter is like Harlequin or whatever that's called, Aurora Borealis, but I like clear white glitter like this. Just looks so good. All right, I'm gonna go away and dry everything, and I'll come back and we'll finish these puppies. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're done. I just wanted to show you, I have some Snow Tech. This is actually a deco art product, Snow Techs, right? When you open it up, I have my little putty knife thing. So see, it's kind of like a textural paste-ish stuff, right? So you can, you can put, I could put it up there on top of the uh, house, sort of, kind of, and it would dry and then you would have that kind of chunky, because look, if you look on the picture, See how she did the top of the house? I don't know how she did that. I don't know how it got so thick like that. It must be some type of paste. She must, it must, I don't know. But that's the thing about when you take a class, I'm trying to find the actual, um, this. Glamour Dust Crackle Paste. Maybe it's Crackle Paste. Um, I don't know. And then, and she just uh, used it to make it look like snow. All right, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that. That is another option. I've used it before, but I like the way they look with just the paint like that, that bright white paint. So I'm going to take this brush here, and I'm going to put out, this is by Delta Ceram Coat. Uh, satin interior varnish. It's just a varnish and it's a satin. And when I do Christmas ornaments, I like to do it with either a satin or a gloss. That's pretty much the only time I use a satin or a gloss. I like to use matte otherwise because it just takes away from the painting if it's too high gloss. But in this case, this will be just fine. And I'm going to just mainly stick to um, the air the not stickled area. So I'm just going to apply a coat of this on top of my design, on top of everything except for that white paint just got, I put it in the white paint and it wasn't dry. So make sure everything's dry first guys, especially your dip dots. If your dip dots are not dry, you're going to cry because you will smudge them all over the place. I just pushed it back up there. It's fine. Uh, but you want to get everything, and I'm just not going over the stickles because I don't really know what it'll do. If because uh, I thought I dried it, I dried it with my heat gun. But look at that! Look at the shine it brings to it. And I would do. I'm going to do the same thing to the back. Uh, but I want to. I'm going to let that dry, and I'm just going to sand it and sign my name like I did on these. I used my. Um, my Sharpie, my metallic Sharpie, and um, see, look, this, well, actually, that was the, uh, I'm going to use a wipey thing, a little bit of that snow tech was up there, 
But see, this is dry. Even the stickles is dry. I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm just going to put the varnish over the whole entire design. I'm just not going right on top of the stickles. I'm going near it, but not completely right over it. And cover the whole ornament with the varnish, and then you're sealing the piece. So you should be good to go after that. You're not going to have an issue with uh, the design coming off or anything. And if something gets on it, like you know what happens with me, there's paint and little bits of pieces of paint all stuck to this mat. So that's what gets on the back of here. See, there's like glue on here. And it's just from getting, it sticks to it from being on here. So, um, I like to sand it and then I'll repaint it and finish it. This, they're just adorable. Thank you so much, Deb Antonuk. Antonuk. But see, look, I can kind of see where I put the varnish on top of the stickles. I'm putting it on top of it because I want to see the difference. I'll put more stickles. No worries. I love stickles. So I hope you guys do it. It's a great thing to have on hand when Christmas comes around and you you see someone you weren't expecting to see. You have a nice handmade gift for them. And I love that you can crank them out in threes because the colors are so similar. And see, let's see what happened to this one with the... I went over the stickles, but it doesn't even show. I'm going to... Um, get the stickles out again because I'm going to do the roof but um, I hope you had fun and you learned something and I'll be back I'm going to try and do a couple more of these projects from Artist Club because I think it's so handy to have the pattern and all the directions right there it tells you all the supplies and I'm all for using what you have, so don't think you have to go buy anything. But if you do, if you want to, the supply list is right there for you. So, see, look, I'm just putting a little stickles on the snow, and there it is. All right, you guys, super cute. Don't forget to sign them. Thanks for watching.